what we've seen today is one more traditional norm being struck down by this president and this White House, the norm that our intelligence professionals need to be non-political and speak truth to power, has been cast aside. It appears obvious to me that this is a White House that feels under siege because of the president's former campaign manager's trial and obviously some of the issues with his former staffer, Omarosa. This is an attempt to distract the American public from those items that this White House faces on a daily basis. I guess, um, to me, this had an eerie uh, memory of an enemies list. Uh, these people were being singled out um, to have either their clearances revoked or in the process of being revoked. To me, smacks of Nixonian type practices of trying to silence anyone who's willing to criticize this president. That puts us again in uncharted territory. Um, I wonder if this president, again, I thought there was a bit of an irony that, that one of the reasons they cited for uh, taking away Mr. Brennan's clearance was um, erratic behavior. I wonder if this White House has looked itself in the mirror on that very question. And finally, I, I worry whether this precedent uh, is going to somehow lead to the president trying to take away Mueller and his whole team's security clearances. This is clearly another effort to silence critics and not allow the Mueller investigation and, for that matter, our Senate Intelligence Committee investigation to get to the bottom of this. So Senator so Warner, you talk anything? about the idea that, that <clears throat> this is a White House that's under siege and they're trying to deflect, but what about people who, was, who, would, who would refute you on that point and say, wait a minute, we know the president is facing a lot with Mueller and, and Omarosa and so on, and that that's just, you know, partisan politics. You're just, you know, doing that. Granted, this is a big deal for him to take that away, but what about those who would say... Well, I would, I would simply say this. We've been doing some checking and can't find any historical precedents. Um, one of the curious items was that on this list of people who, who had having their clearances either removed or in the process of being removed, interestingly enough, didn't include Michael Flynn, who um, would appear, again, as somebody who, subject to uh, uh, some violations, would be in a normal list of this kind of, this kind of action. But I think there's, you know, what is troubling, and I think, I hope will be troubling to all members of Congress, regardless of party, is when you go out and take away people's security clearances in an effort to try to stifle their First Amendment rights, what that does to these individuals, but what kind of signal it sends to other law enforcement, intelligence community officials who have to continue to speak truth to power. What 